Assalamu alaikum man, what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so far we've used the Ronin S for a few weeks already and it's done the job. It's been doing good and right now I just wanna go over a few basic things. Number one, we're gonna go over the contents that are in the box one more time. We're gonna assemble it and then I'm gonna show you a few things on how to balance the gimbal. Well, let's get started. Once you pop this guy open, you got all these amazing things that are inside. Everything looks like it's ready to use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so DJI pouch in here, you'll find all the cables and connectors that you would need uh, for different models, different types of cameras. Uh, so this we'll leave aside right now. We're not going to use this too much at the moment. Next, let's start assembling this thing really quick. So to start off, I always love starting off with the grip. So you got the grip right here and then you got the tripod tripod turning this thing into a monopod whatever you want to call it that works you screw this from the bottom all right open up the legs now it's standing okay one thing to note on the bottom you have a little button press it once it lets you know if what's your battery status at so right now we have four bars it's fully charged ready to go we don't need to turn this on right now so we're going to turn it off once you grab the gimbal you just carefully hold it and then there's a slot right on the bottom, which goes right into there. So you're gonna gently put them together, slide it right in. Once you slide it in, there's a latch right here to lock it. So I'll bring that, I'll show you. All you gotta do, lock it in place. Now, it's locked, it's secure. Give ourselves some more room. Then we're gonna bring the camera that we're gonna attach to it. Now on the camera, I already saved us some time. I put the plate, looks like a Manfrotto plate, kinda is, it fits on some of the Manfrotto heads, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. This is the actual plate that the camera sits on, and I'm gonna show you how to attach it. Okay, how to balance the Ronin S. This part is very important because in the beginning when I first grabbed it, I just wanted to use it right away because we had some production shoots and we did it, it worked, but there was some complications because we didn't understand exactly how to balance it. It's a little different than the other gimbals. So, getting started really quick, how to balance the gimbal. And getting started really quick, how to balance the Ronin S. Need to make sure you have your plate on. So once the plate is attached, you measure it accordingly, add your lens support right here. You just screw it right to the front. So you see there you have your lens support and you have your plate, all right? On the Ronin S, you'll see the bracket where it's gonna sit on. There's an arrow that points outwards. You actually have to slide it in backwards. So, take the camera, slide it back in. You hear a clicking sound. Now it's going back and forth. Now, you wanna lock it in place. But before you lock it in place, try to make sure that you have it to the point to where it seems like it's kind of balanced. This is not for balancing the motors. This is just generally speaking. After mounting the camera on, and there's a little lock lever right here, just push that forward, make sure it's locked into place, and you're good to go. So this doesn't mean that you balanced it already. All you did was place the camera on the plate, and then you locked it in place. Now you're gonna begin balancing the unit. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your right, you want to make sure you grab the motor and then see how it tilts. If it tilts back and forth, obviously it's not balanced. You want to set it to where when you point it upwards, it stays up, point it downwards, it stays down. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so now if we point it up, it's balanced up, it's balanced down. So we kind of know now that it's balanced this right motor is balanced. So now that the tilt axis is balanced, you wanna adjust the roll axis. So the way you would do that is you let the camera, place the camera straight and see which way it tilts over. So it looks like it's tilting a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. You wanna be able to have it tilt this way, tilt that way, and it should stay in place. It's kind of somewhat balanced. I guess I got a little lucky, but to do that, you would unscrew the back part of the motor and this is for the roll axis you want to adjust the roll axis i'm sorry so I, did i say tilt axis i hope i said roll axis so right now you want to adjust the roll axis to where it rolls and it stays into place so we're going to put this guy here it looks like it's tilting a little this way so i'm going to drop it so this is somewhat balanced right there the roll axis okay now adjusting for the pan axis that's the bottom right here before you adjust for the pan axis what you do you want to do is you want to grab the gimbal 
tilt it to the left. See what side it rolls in. Looks like it needs some adjustment. So again, put it straight, loosen the lever on the right here, pull back to where you see. You can do some testing, some back and forth testing. All right, so I think that's where it's gonna do it for me. Okay, balance is straight. When you tilt it to the left, it should stay still. And when you tilt it again to the right, it should kind of stay still. So right there, it looks like we are balanced. That's it, that's pretty much it. Def you could definitely fine tune it to perfect it, but what I do next is I fire up the app and I run through the tests to see how it's balanced. Let's do that right now. Before we fire up the app, let's fire up the gimbal. First thing you wanna do is you wanna press this button right here. Okay. All four bars come on, all four bars come on. That means we are fully charged, all right. Next, you wanna double tap the power button on the side. All the green lights come on. You hear that beeping sound and you're good to go. Now, let's fire up the app. Okay, so the Ronin S is all fired up and now we're gonna fire up the app. So, I got the Ronin S app right here. I'm gonna hit that right there. All right, I'm gonna connect, log in, hit connect to Ronin S right over here. And I'm gonna choose DJI Ronin S. There you go. Now I'm gonna go to configurations, I'm gonna go to settings, I'm gonna go to mode, and I'm gonna do a balance test. You guys see where it says balance test right there? All right, I'm gonna tap that, and it's gonna do some testing. Look at that. Let it do its thing. Cycling, left, panning up. It's doing the tilt axis the pan axis and the roll axis just to make sure everything is balanced and once it stops you can see on the screen what it says right here can you guys see that oh there we go everything is excellent so it says tilt excellent roll excellent pan is excellent that's how you balance the ronin s so that's gonna do it for today. Thanks again for tagging along, guys. Really appreciate it. And if you like this kind of videos, just please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and I'm gonna do more videos, more tutorials about how to use the Roman S. Thanks again for your time. Salam alaikum.